Welcome to another RC Worst video. I'm Chris, and today we're going to be talking about SJE Rombus pump control switches. And I just wanted to make this video to kind of talk about some of the subtle differences between all of the different con pump control switches that there are. Uh, SJE Rombus offers 11 different styles of pump control switches. So you've got mercury, non-mercury, you've got the vertical type switch, which is intended for uh, confined space applications or, or tight diameter sumps and so forth. You've also got the double float switch, which is going to actually have uh, two float switches that are tied into one uh, cord. And those are pretty useful when you've got perhaps a, a tall basin and you only want to have one control cord coming out of the basin. So I've got a couple of switches here. We've got a wide angle float switch. We've got a uh, vertical master float switch. These are just two of the ones that we just talked about. Uh, the wide angle switches, those are pretty much the most traditional type of switch. They just travel up and down based on the length of your tether. Uh, the longer that tether is, the more swing this is going to have to uh, control your cycle. Uh, so you're able to then cycle the pump based on either your dosing requirements or the length of the time that you need to run the motor in each particular instance. Um, like I said, these tight diameter switches or the vertical master switches, these just simply have a float that travels up and down this fixed rod, which engages and disengages the motor. The big downside with these switches and why I would only recommend using them in confined spaces is they have a pretty limited range of travel and they're, they are quite adjustable, but only to the length of that rod. So they're not the best switch for everyday applications and you wanna try to limit those to just the, the confined space applications applications where they work best. And that's just because in a tight area, you're not gonna always have room uh, for a wide angle type of switch. But in, in almost every instance, a wide angle switch is gonna be your most reliable uh, long-term type of a switch when you've got the room for it. All right, so we'll talk just a moment about the difference between mercury and non-mercury switches. Interestingly enough, SJE Rhombus produces all of their switches with the same quality rating, which they test each and every switch that they make to 250,000 cycles. So when you're talking about quality, there's definitely a mentality where uh, mercury switches are ultra reliable, so always use mercury switches. And that may have been true years ago, but I think that advances in mechanical switches and their simplicity has definitely led to a dramatic increase in reliability. So I just kind of wanted to address that uh, rumor or um, that, that question just seems to come up on occasion. So I just wanted to talk about that. The other big thing that you're going to want to take a look at when you're selecting float switches is because as I mentioned, there are 11 different options or types of switches that uh, SJE Rhombus makes for pump control. And of those 11, you've got most of them being just wide angle switches, but they all have different amperage ratings. So you've got the Pump Master, the Pump Master Plus, the Amp Master, and each one of those has a different amp rating. So make sure when you're selecting a float switch that you check out your motor or your pump and verify that that full load amperage is gonna be within that float switch's range. Another thing to take a look at when you're selecting a float switch, of course, is you want to select one that's going to hook in with whatever your system is going to be. So if you need a piggyback plug or you don't need a plug because you're wiring it direct to a panel or splicing it into the line or something along those lines, uh, just be aware that those options do exist. The one other situation where you could potentially run into a wide angle switch would be there are a lot of manufacturers who make switches actually built into the pump. So they'll have another cord port uh, where the float switch just kind of comes out and hangs out. Um, and those aren't always bad, but the, the downside with going that route on a pump, of course, is that if the switch goes bad, you're gonna have to like take the pump apart or something along those lines. So not super convenient to replace, but super convenient to install. So kind of a trade off there. So when we're looking at SJE Rhombus float switches in particular, uh, keep an eye out for the word master. Now SJE Rhombus uses master to designate mechanical float switches. So we've got an, uh, this is a vertical master, a pump master, and uh, an amp master, a pump master plus. So all of those have the word master in them, so they are mechanical. Interestingly enough, they use the word super 
for uh, all the mer mercury switches. And just a reminder, when you're selecting a float switch, you're gonna run into words like normally open, normally close, pump up, pump down. Let me just quickly brief over that one last time here. So normally open is gonna be a pump down switch. Normally closed would be a pump up switch. And normal is again describing the position when the switch is hanging or hanging like this one here. Uh, so this is a normally open switch. So as it raises, closes, turns the pump on and so forth. So that's just our brief overview of the different uh, pump switches that SJE Rhombus offers and kind of a quick description of what to look for when you're selecting them. So thanks for joining us today, everybody. Have a great day.